Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, here today with probably my most anticipated haul for roughly at least eight years at this point. So today we have three packages, one of which I am very excited to open. This is this one I'm beyond excited. We also have a fan mail package, uh, as well as uh, a special package by my buddy Inferno. I recently purchased just a lot of cool minifigure related stuff, and I'm really excited to get into all of it. First, I'm going to ask you all to hit that subscribe button, uh, and we're going to get into one of my favorite hauls I'm probably ever going to do, because there's one figure in particular I am very uh, excited about, and you guys probably might have seen it in the thumbnail already. And we also have other stuff with my P.O. Box. Uh, now, real quick, I do have a P.O. Box. Uh, I've had it up for a while. I haven't really promoted it too much. Uh, but basically, you send fan mail, and I'll feature it in a video. I, I did dedicated videos on it for a while, but then I stopped for a little bit. Uh, I want to bring it back, so... Um, you, you can send me fan mail. This is the address right here. I'll leave a link in the description too. Uh, you can address to Republic Studs, to Logan, whatever you want. Um, so with that said, we are going to get right on into everything. Uh, so let's go. So first up, we are going to get into this one by Inferno Bricks on Instagram. I just wanted to open this up because I wasn't entirely sure what it was when it came in the mail. Uh, but I probably do now. Uh, so I don't entirely remember exactly what it is I ordered. Um, but yeah, okay. So here it is. Uh, here, we're, I, I want to leave it in here. So we have a little bit of anticipation. Uh, so there's a plastic baggie. Uh, I, I, again, not entirely sure what we're getting here. Um, I, I think I have a general idea. Okay, so here we go. First off, whoa. Okay, that, that's a bit of a mix of a trooper. So it looks like we have Commander Gree legs uh, on top of a, uh, I guess, a, a Clone Lieutenant torso piece, which looks in very good condition, by the way, uh, on top of a Mandalorian face print and an ARF trooper helmet. That is one heck of a mix-up. I am actually what I'm going to do. I have this brick from Ikea. I'm going to use that as our base plate for today. Uh, let's see, what else we got? I'm going to reach in and find someone else. It looks like we have some clone commando related stuff. I also dropped something. Uh, we have a clone commando, or, or I'm sorry, Senate commando. Another one of these guys. I have a handful of these. Oh, look, a second one. That's really cool. Yeah, that's actually sick, honestly. Look at that. That's great. I hope we have a helmet for that one. Uh, I think we do. Um, no. Okay, we, oh, look at that. We, we have a, a 2013 clone helmet, uh, a Mandalorian torso. Let's see. There, there's one in here I know I'm excited for. <gasps> We have a full-on clone trooper right here. That is a uh, Phase 2 clone trooper torso design. That actually also goes with the 2013 trooper. Oh, wait. I remember something that's in this package. Oh, man. Oh, I've been excited for this. This is our Imperial Shock Trooper. And, and I want to... I like you're going to ask the price. I'm going to tell you after. Because I think I got a nice deal from my buddy Inferno Bricks. He's a really great guy. I'll leave a link to his Instagram. Um, look at this. Just a pristine, beautiful condition shock trooper. Also great for Mandalorian Battlefront. I love the 2015 Battlefront game. Very exciting to have in Lego form. I think that was the reason I actually decided to make this final purchase. Let's see what else we got. Uh, <gasps> I forgot. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, there's an ARC Trooper? ARC Trooper? No way. Okay, I'll leave that there. Uh, okay, that means this haul basically... Here, we're going to take off this head. Off of this guy real quick. We got a 2020 style... Or a 2014 style phase uh, to clone trooper. This guy looks like Gary from our clone trader series about a year ago now, which is nuts. Ah, oh, he looks so great. Killer haul already. We have two amazing minifigures. We have the Arc Trooper helmet. We also have the Phase One Trooper helmet. Both great so far. And I'll try to you know combine them all the right way um, and get some head pieces. We also have another Mandalorian torso. Uh, he said he had a bunch of miscellaneous parts, which is most of this haul consists of more miscellaneous figures parts he didn't necessarily need uh and then we're gonna pull up over this oh yuck bomb squad troopers i have made an active effort not to buy these but it came with a lot so i couldn't say no um although i kind of wish i just told him to keep it because <laughs> i hate these guys uh but it's either way it's great obviously i know everyone rips me up and down in the comments They're like why do you hate bomb squad troopers i just do and, and you're gonna have to live with it i'm sorry uh we have another mando torso very cool uh and then we also have oh that's an arf trooper very cool um that is uh a very I, I don't want to say, like, like old version. Like, this is a relatively newer version. It came in the same battle pack as this guy. Missing legs. Which, you know, that's going to be a little... That, that's going to be a little difficult. Let's see. What else we got in here? Okay. We have a, a Senate Commando. Uh, that is a good-looking minifigure. Uh, he does come with these stud shooters and everything. So that is always good. Uh, I guess we have uh, almost a full battle pack here. Obviously, they're not the most exciting figures. Oh! Also have Commander Gree. That's cool. I need a Commander Gree torso. Because my Commander Gree's torso is cracked. 
Um, from my, my phase one version. So maybe that'll be in here. Uh, we do have a horn company torso, however, which is actually really good and might work well with this guy back here. Um, okay. Oh, and there's hair. Okay. Um, and then over here we have, oh yes. Okay. So we have a full battle pack of these guys now. That's very exciting. The, the Senate commandos. Uh, and then let's see, let's, let's take out. Oh wow. There's a lot more than I thought there was. Um, okay. I'm just going to take it all out. First off, we have the 2014 501st Trooper Torso. Always a great and useful piece. Very happy about that. Um, we also have a handful of Mandalorian helmets. I believe I saw three. So we also happen to have three three torsos. So we essentially, once I get face prints, which isn't too hard, we'll, we'll have three Mandalorians, which is great. We have another Bomb Squad Trooper torso, which is pretty epic. I think actually I have an extra helmet. And then we have an actual... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, torso itself for the 2008 style, and I believe, no, this guy came with maroon arms. Okay, I, I, th I thought that would have made a full figure. Uh, but we're gonna put this on for now. Looking very spicy, and ooh, this is an old Republic trooper. Very nice. Um, he does not come with arms, and he's cracked on the side. Um, he's cracked, my G. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, he's pretty cool. He comes with a clone head. I'm gonna go sort all these out, make them all look nice, and tell you how much I got them for it, and then we're going to get into um, probably my most anticipated package ever. Okay, so this haul in total cost me roughly $40. Uh, we got some bangers. We have four of these guys minus the helmet of one of them, two Mandos, two Bomb Squad Troopers, an Old Republic Trooper missing hands, and he's also cracked. We also have uh, an ARF Trooper and my two favorites, personally. These two boys, they are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Uh, love them, love them, love them. I am so happy to have them. Uh, we also have some helmets here. We have Grease Legs and Helmet. Ironically, the one piece missing being the torso that I am in desperate need of. We also have the ARF Trooper helmet, big deal. Mando helmet back there. Uh, we have actually two, I'm noticing now, of the Phase 1 helmets, which is very cool. And then in terms of torso, we have a very nice uh, selection. We have a Mandalorian torso, we have a Sergeant torso, a 2013 501st torso, a Horn Company torso, and a uh, 2008 regular Clone Wars Clone Tripper torso. Uh, we basically have enough for him, but, you know, we don't officially have the legs, so I, I just didn't put them together. But we'll get something together. These are all great, useful parts. I have put together overall very solid haul. Most excited about these two at the front here. Let's take a look at probably my most anticipated package ever. And by the way, again, $40, not bad at all. Huge thank you to Inferno Bricks. I really appreciate it, man. So here is the package. Let's open it up. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. Captain Rex. Now, first off, I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Jonathan for sending this to me. Jonathan, a really nice guy. Uh, he did not have the waist cape, so I am going to actually take the liberty of putting one of these on myself. I own one, luckily. I'm very fortunate to have that. Uh, so I was like, you know, I'll take it without that. I think that's a worthy sacrifice. It came with most other things. So here, I will put that on now. We're going to put on the torso. And if anyone's curious, uh, it is real. It has the Lego logo right on top. It has the printing on the back. It is as real as it gets, quite honestly. And it even comes with the face print and everything. And here's the helmet. Now, in terms of problems, the only thing I notice is there's a little scuffing, like a tiny little scuffing. If you guys see that on the helmet, it's barely noticeable, but it's there. Um, so yeah, that is unfortunate. And there also I've noticed on the head print, which isn't in a big deal because I already have uh, the face print. There is like some minor scuffing, like there's some like minor dent marks in it. Obviously, it's a well-played figure. Uh, the, the, the elbows, or I need to look under them. Uh, they look fine from what I could tell. Um, no major problems, no major cracking. Oh wait, there's like kind of a crack there, but not really. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that he's extra careful uh, and he's not, you know, getting pressure applied on it all the time. But it is okay because I got this for around, I believe, $57. He was really great with the pricing. I thought that was really fair. Uh, granted, obviously it's in a used condition. Uh, the legs are a little worn, everything's a little worn, but it is my first Captain Rex minifigure. I'll get a brand new one eventually. Um, but But this is great for now. I am beyond stoked to have it, and I want to just give you some background. And also, if you want to skip ahead to find out what's in this package, you can. I just want to give some background on why this is so meaningful to me. Basically, my channel started off being called Captain Rex. I got my first 100 subscribers or so under that name, and, you know, I had this figure. Uh, and the figure I used was, like, a mix of the old man Captain Rex and a, like, fake Lego helmet of Captain Rex, which I actually still have to this day. 
Um, and, and that was basically how I, um, I had my Captain Rex. I would always play around with him. I lived in a different house, so I was using that effectively for, like, three, four years. I always wanted a real one. I never could get it. Because even back in the day, back in that, at that time, it was still, like, a $40, $30 figure, which was, you know, a lot. Uh, and now it's, like, really expensive, like 200 if you want it in decent condition. Um, so I, I, I did that, and, and it, it worked out fine. Uh, but, but I did end up deciding now... It's a great time to buy it, and I'm really happy about it. I'm really grateful. I finally own one. This is like one of the last major clone commanders I need, and with the reveal of the new Phase 2 Cody, it is just amazing to have this minifigure, honestly. I, I couldn't be more happy about it. Uh, so thank you, Jonathan. Let's get into our final package. So this is fan mail right here. Uh, obviously, I have a P.O. box. Uh, I want to start this back up. Um, so anyone who sends anything, obviously, uh, this, I don't know how long ago it was sent because I hadn't checked out my P.O. box in a while. Send things over and just comment, like, if you sent anything so that way I know to go check. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we have a little letter here. Dear Republic Studs, I love watching your YouTube channel. I like clones and the Resistance and Jedi Knights. Uh, you are my favorite YouTuber. Your clone army is so big, I'm trying to get an army as big as yours. Now you can have a bigger clone army uh, with custom clone armor I am sending you. From Bane S. I hope I'm saying that right. From nine years old, from uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Now let's see what we got. Uh, and it looks like we have uh, some awesome little, I guess these are custom slash, I guess, knockoff Lego pieces. It looks like we have some other stuff in there too. So let's find out what we got. First off, we have this pimped out looking trooper. Look at that. that that's sick. Uh, he comes with a, a Mandalorian face print. Uh, it looks like one of the Rogue One Troopers. You have a file first Trooper in there. You have some of the firearms. Uh, and then you also... Ooh, look at that. You have, a, you have an Inferno Squad helmet. I think that's official LEGO. Yeah, that is. Um, we also have some torso prints. We have a Stormtrooper one. Actually, we have two Stormtrooper ones. I think these are First Order Troopers. We also have a Bounty Hunter. That is really cool. We have uh, a Stormtrooper. Uh, and we have a 332nd Trooper and... Uh, a, a, uh, I guess that's a jetpack trooper, uh, which is really cool. We have some more blasters, uh, a jetpack, all that sort of cool stuff. And that is awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, when you guys do send fan mail, uh, I appreciate everything. If you want to send anything, just a, like a mini figure of yourself. If you just want to send a letter, a lot of people just send letters. I love those that I, I love anything, uh, cards, fan art. I've gotten a lot of it in the past and it's great. I'll show you actually some of it. We have uh, me right here. This is like what awesome. Uh, you know, you have Captain Rex there. You have a Baby Yoda. Uh, you know, just fun stuff. Um, a lot of really nice stuff from a lot of nice people. We have a, a little Jesse there. We have all this different cool stuff. I keep it. I have it up. I'm gonna put it back up on the wall. I just need to for redoing the room uh, and uh, pretty soon. Uh, and one of the craziest ones. Look at this. That's nuts. Um, this was one of my profile pictures. It was a little different. But it's still all cool nonetheless. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this. That's nuts. So yeah, that is absolutely insane. I will make sure to leave this with all the fan art and we'll put it back up very, very soon. With that said, thank you all so much. Specifically, thank you to Bane, Jonathan, and Inferno Bricks all for sending me some of the most amazing LEGO Star Wars uh, figures, minifigures, including one of my dream, my favorite ever Lego minifigure. I now own it, which is just the best. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Uh, and for the rest of you, peace out and stay awesome.